students of Reddit. Have you ever lost your temper with a teacher? What's your story? I had a Spanish teacher, and in order to gain other students sympathy, she would make fun of one of the student, and kind of bully, not that badly but well, that student for this hour of class. Of course, other students would sometimes laugh because class was super boring so it was like a show. I hated that. Of course she would pick the students that didn't reply back to her provocation, the low profile type, and of course she would use the perfect excuse just after being mean no it's just a joke he he. Once that guy that never searched trouble to anyone was her victim of the day. She takes him as an example to describe a homeless guy on a picture. After only 10, freaking long, minutes, he stands up and leave the classroom crying. And when she stops him before he leaves. He tells her his dad died the previous night and push her away. Once the door closed behind him, she pause for a second and take a crying voice to repeat what he had just said. My dad just died crickery, poor baby. Before I realized it, she received my Spanish book in the face and I called her an ugly SEM. My insult level isn't great in Spanish. A couple of weeks into my senior year of high school, the president gave a speech about the importance of school or something. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway, all of the teachers in my school had to set up their projectors so we could watch it. My math teacher couldn't figure out how to get her projector working. So, me being the nerdy kid, I offered to help. She had a fit, started screaming about how she wasn't stupid and how I needed to just sit down and shut up. After a few more minutes of her failing to fix it, she pointed at me and ordered me to fix it. I said fix it yourself. She told the whole class to go next door to watch the speech in that teacher's room. When we got up to leave she pulled me to the side and told me that when the class got back I was going to stand up and apologize for being so rude to her. I refused and went to join the rest of the class. She spent the rest of the year making my life miserable. She told me on several occasions that she was going to make sure that I failed her class. Sure enough, I failed her class. Only class I ever failed. What a dong of a teacher. This might not seem like much of a temper, but overall I was a quiet, respectful and non-confrontational student. On that day in 10th grade history, the students kept losing handouts and asking for extra copies from the teacher, and he was clearly sick of it. I had never asked for extras before, but someone must have packed up my handouts with theirs at the end of class because I couldn't find mine. I went to ask him for some, super meekly, and apologizing. I knew he wouldn't be happy, but I was a good, non-trouble kid, so I thought such a simple thing would not be a problem, but I was wrong. I got lectured, glared at, yelled at and refused, and I swear I must have been the last straw for him with how much he overreacted. I stared at him as coldly as I could and said calmly but with some serious venom thanks for nothing and turned around and strode off. He shouted after me, seriously incredulous that I dare to speak to him so, but I didn't turn or stop. Dang, that felt good as a shy 14 year old girl. I never flipped out, but if I ever saw Ms. Abramovic is public ever again, I'd punch her in the face. I was a white immigrant child who spoke no English. She couldn't grasp why I couldn't understand her and yelled at me constantly for not following instructions for two freaking months until someone told her that I didn't understand her. I developed a severe stuttering problem because of her that cost my parents thousands of dollars we didn't have in speech therapy. Still hasn't fully gone away frick that woman. Ugh. Sophomore year of high school I'm in an advanced algebra class and not doing well. The teacher would lecture for the first half of the class and then give us the other half to work on homework. Since I wasn't doing well, I'd go to her desk a lot and ask for help on how to approach certain problems. She had this awful habit of just taking my notebook and finishing a problem and then going. Did that help I was usually just polite and said yeah and walked back. One day I'm confused again, bring up my homework and she just does the problem with no explanation of how she got there. I kind of roll my eyes and she saw. She said if I didn't want her help, then I shouldn't come up there. I just kind of blurt out. I came to you because I was confused on how to do these. You're just showing me a completed problem and aren't actually teaching me problem solving. I currently have a teacher who does exactly this. Going to my old one now to get help and understanding things much better. In junior high, I played lacrosse. 
Our indoor lax coach was one of the teachers. I was the goalie. I don't remember the circumstances that started it all, since this was like 15 plus years ago. But one night after practice, my mother confronted the coach. They had words about me, in front of everyone. After that, the coach had it out for me. I showed up to one of our indoor games, ready to play. Again, the only goalie. I'm suited up and she tells me I'm not playing. I ask why, because I called her a bee. I was so confused. I've never called her a bee, ever. And if I did, it wasn't in front of her, nor in front of anyone else. I get undressed, go seek out my dad, tell him what happened. He confronts this lady. She still refuses to let me play. We leave. I'm infuriated at this woman. Then one day, during school, I'm in social studies. The teacher gets a call on the room phone and she tells me I need to go down to the main office. Okay, I head down there, and coach lady is standing outside the main office, ready to confront me, accuses me of all these things, wants me to apologize. I am refusing since I've never done anything. We are basically yelling in the hallway. I'm like 13. This woman is in her 30s or 40s, accusing me of lying, of calling her a bee, of all these things, which I've never done. I storm away, without giving her her apology. A couple years later, I was on the varsity low cross team. We were playing at a tournament. My old junior high coach aka, the B, was there, because our varsity coach was her boyfriend. He ended up leaving partway through the tournament because he wasn't feeling well. She ended up coaching us for the remainder of the time. Our history was in the past. She was super nice and we got along quite well. Giving me blue balls man. When I was in kindergarten, my first teacher, she got pregnant so she had to take maternity leave. Then she got replaced with a substitute teacher to teach my class for the rest of the school year. She was very strict and she was not very nice. I had issues with her, but I was a very good student, quiet and to myself. One day I asked her that I had to use the bathroom but she refused to let me go. I really had to go but ended up peeing on myself. I remember going to the nurse and then they called my mom. My mom went up to the school and had a meeting with the teacher, the principal and someone else. Two days later that teacher was fired. My math teacher in CC believed that the only way that people to learn was to place a book in front of them and let them figure it out themselves. He ignored our questions and pleas for us to help us because we had to pass this math class to graduate. All he did was explain to us was this is how other countries teach. Finally one day I snapped in class and told him to get his lazy butt off of his chair and teach like a normal professor. It was so agitating because he never explained to us that this is how he taught. He was normal for the first day and then on Monday when he started his method of teaching. It was too late to drop the class without penalties. What bothered me the most was this was a community college. When I was a student, yes, I was in food tech and the teacher yelled at me for carrying a freaking cracker. By the middle of the lesson, she told me I was doing something wrong. I wasn't. So I yelled back at her and I'm pretty sure I told her to frick off. I was the quiet polite student. Everyone was in shock. She just didn't want you to be crackalakin. A teacher whose class was at noon would assign homework due at 5 that night. I told him I would still be in class and he told me to tell my other professors that I need to take 5 minutes from their class to do his homework. What a freaking joke. I once had a very terrible history teacher. This guy was something else. He was horrible to everyone and said some extremely questionable things. He never bothered me in particular too much. Few things here and there but nothing super bad. Well, my best friend drowned while canoeing with some other students. A few days later the principal had a moment of silence for him and this teacher said kid deserved it. And I lost my freaking mind. I started yelling at him and I was crying and he was just standing there with a smirk on his face. My friends pulled me out of the room while he called the principal. I ended up suspended but there was a walkout the next day due to my suspension. So when I was in 7th grade there was an old English teacher who really shouldn't have been working with kids. Sitting in her class was like heck because everyone was walking in eggshells to not be the one that she would target out for harassment that day. I would say she was in her mid to late 60s and the best way I could describe it is that she was just fully miserable and took it out on her students. 
One day I did something to upset her. Not really sure what it was but ultimately I was a good student and never really did anything intentionally to upset the teachers. While I can't remember exactly what it was, probably because it was quite insignificant, I do remember the way she proceeded to treat me. She walked around handing out an assignment and when she got to me she just looked at my gave me an evil smile and kept walking. Knowing I would take a zero for this paper I raised my hand and said excuse me. I didn't get a paper to which she replied don't talk to me. I told her I needed a paper to do my work and again she responded the same. I went off telling her that it was extremely unprofessional of her to tell a student not to talk to her and prevent him from learning. I told her she was disgraceful and that I was going to the principal. I walked out and marched right down to the office where I told the principal who spoke with my mom and she came down right away to formally file a complaint. Apparently this wasn't the first complaint against this teacher but since she had been tenured it was basically impossible to terminate her. She resigned at the end of the year. I am assuming it was somewhat of a forced resignation but either way, good riddance. My grandpa had just died, like two days before. I pretty much grew up with my grandparents because of family drama and stuff. So my mother goes to my school, asks my teachers to go easy on me for a couple of weeks. The same day, I said you not, surprise oral test, I don't answer anything, I don't even want to. A month passes by, this teacher is commenting on our performances. He tells me I've had a good performance throughout the year except a small hiccup a couple of weeks before. She then proceeds to ask me what happened. Your dog got sick. Your little boyfriend dumped you with that sort of mocking tone. My classmates had to physically stop me from throwing something at her. Never been so angry in my life. And I was a very calm, shy kind of dude. Straight A plus student. The worst teacher I ever had was my shop teacher gym teacher in high school. He would not do anything at all. I was able to smoke in shop class and in gym class as long as it was outside running laps or something. I never once heard him tell anyone about safety measures when using shop equipment. A few people got hurt and one actually lost half a thumb but the worst thing he ever did was hire some of the grade 9 and grade 10 girls to babysit for him and his wife. He would leave his wife at the bar and go home to check on the kids and was eventually caught screwing a 15 yo girl. After a police investigation they found a ton of homemade pee on his laptop of him having sex with many young girls. Last I heard he went to jail for life. This was all in a town of less than 300 people. Holy crap. Hard working student in my class whose effort is seldom justified by the results he receives, gets a mediocre score for his English test. English teacher goes on to insult him in front of the whole class, saying that he was probably just gonna end up working in law enforcement or in the army. Since she was standing near to me when she said that, I replied, being an English teacher doesn't necessarily mean that you're very successful in your life either. She goes on to shift the target on me instead of her saying how she can't stand students like me. There was some verbal exchanges. To end it off, we all had a graduation exam that we had to do. GCE Cambridge O levels. I ended up getting an A for English. I still went over to thank her on my results day but she ignored me. Oh well. I was in the process of preparing for interviews to get into Oxford from quite a deprived area of the country. As my school's sole applicant, a school which has had two or three students go on to Oxbridge in 40 years. One afternoon per week was dedicated to PSHE, like, general citizenship stuff, which usually amounted to watching videos about road safety and the like. Instead of watching the video, I was sat in the corner teaching myself further maths A level. Since my school cut the funding which previously provided a tutor, and no one else was qualified to teach it, obviously, I got into trouble for not watching the video, and was made to stand outside the classroom. The teacher came out to tell me off, saying that I should be setting a better example, so I said I can't believe that you want me to watch a video on driving safely when 1. I don't drive, 2. I have seen this exact video 3 times, and 3. I am working as hard as I can to get into Oxford. This crap is why this school never gets anyone into Oxbridge. Didn't get me out of trouble, but I got into Oxford. Junior year of high school I had an English teacher who had a reputation for being a bee. Toward the end of the semester my mom unexpectedly passed away. I spent three nights in the hospital with her before she died. 
the day before she passed, I was in class when our teacher starts asking questions about the previous night's reading assignment. I obviously had not done the reading due to spending the previous two nights in the air. So she calls on me and I clearly did not know the answer. I still remember the sinister smile that crossed her face when she said looks like somebody didn't do their reading last night. Why didn't you do your homework at this point I'm trying my absolute hardest to hold it together and not start bawling in front of my friends and classmates. She mistook this for me being embarrassed that I didn't do my homework. She then put both hands on my desk and sarcastically said oh, what's wrong? Do you need a hug? I finally lost it. I stood up and fighting through tears said I didn't do it because I was in the hospital with my dying mother. Go frick yourself you stupid bee and walked out. I never went back to her class. Frick you miss. Roses. This is awful teacher behavior, and this comment needs more upvotes. In my freshman year of high school a teacher wouldn't let me leave to the air. While peeing in the bathroom, it started burning and I saw that I was peeing out blood instead of regular urine. So I called my mom and told her what happened and she told me that she'll come pick me up from school and take me to the hospital. After all that happened I went back to class. My teacher complained that I was late to class and told me to sit down. When my mom was waiting outside for me I told the teacher I had to leave and that it was an emergency. The teacher told me to sit down, as I was already late to his class, and that I can't leave. I kept on insisting that I had to leave and there's a problem I have to deal with, but he wouldn't listen. So I got fed up with him and just straight up walked out of class. He called out to me and asked me where I thought I was going and also asked if I wanted to continue learning in his class. I told him I'm going to the hospital, and that everything I learned in his class was self-taught and that he was a useless freaking teacher. When I reached the hospital they kept me there for an entire week and ended up diagnosing me with kidney stones. They told me I had to go through an operation to remove them as they were too large to remove through other means. In 6th grade my teacher wanted to be liked by the class so he bullied and embarrassed me along with the rest of the cool kids. As a mature aged student taking on a second degree, I ran into an external lecturer who treated my class like we were 15 year old children. The youngest in my class was 20 at the time but has more maturity than I tend to have. Whatever, the external lecturer is a pretty big name in the local industry so I sucked it up as best I could no matter what condescending rule or lecture she threw at me. The first time I lost my cool was when I made a soft joke to my classmate and she laid into my classmate for somehow inciting the joke even though I had been fully responsible for the interaction. My classmate hadn't even responded to me. I tried to point this out and the external lecturer brushed me off saying it's done. We're moving on. The second time I lost my cool was a few days before our final. External lecturer had been making us practice drills a very specific way in our classroom, and was very particular about the specificity. We then moved into the actual venue for final drills and all of us were freaking up one way or the other because we were all stressed out of our minds trying to recalibrate to the new venue while the external lecturer berated us on every little thing we changed that was not to her liking. Finally she stopped me in the middle of the drill and asked me very sarcastically why I chose to do what I did and I answered that's how we had practiced it in the classroom and I apologize that I cannot read your mind on how you would like to adjust it but I am doing my best. best. Silence for an eternity. She moved on to berate another classmate for another adjustment and then finally she came back to me. Don't you dare say things like you can't read my mind. Just do your work and actually try. I stood up taller and said I was trying, very hard, that's what we were all doing and it was very difficult to adjust to the venue to her liking without some guideline and would her like to provide us with one, she told me to get out, I burned that bridge real good. Had an issue with a chemistry tay losing my lab reports or other homework. After he confronted me about another missing assignment in our chem lab we had a fairly heated exchange and I stormed out of the lab. I made it about halfway across the large public campus before realizing I still had my lab goggles on. I can only imagine what people thought of some random pee off dude walking around with lab goggles on. I saw it happen once and did it once. The time I saw it, it was in college algebra, a required course for every major. The professor teaching it treated everyone as if we should all be the quality of math majors. He'd ask people questions during class. If they didn't know he'd ride them and embarrass them. 
One day he even made a girl cry. A few weeks after this he was doing the usual to a male student. Male student had enough and began screaming at him and creating for him a new butthole. Several students chimed in and it made the rest of the year rather awkward but I'm glad they did it. The time I did it, I had a class where she gave random pop quizzes to enforce attendance. The quizzes counted for no points but if you missed a certain percentage you dropped a letter grade. At this point I should have been getting an A plus due to extra credit. Instead I had a C due to attendance. One day she cancelled class. During the next class she mentioned that while she easily could have made it in, she didn't feel like it because it was likely snowing. I raised my hand and pointed out her hypocrisy. She didn't say much but she did reverse the policy. My American lit teacher said not to quote the Bible in academic papers then assigned me a compare contrast paper on the Bible and American Indian myths. Gave me a C for using the Bible. When I tried to talk to her about it she blew up in front of the whole class. Talked before class in her office. I led a walk out when she started going off. The next class she looked angry and started focusing on me. So I led another walk out. This was a gym teacher. The other kids would often bully me and sometimes beat me up. She would only intervene if I fought back and that was to punish me and me alone. I went to the guidance counselor one time after getting kicked out and told him what happened. He called her and she said that I was attacking them and they did nothing. Since she was the teacher and I was the student, you can guess who the guidance counselor believed. Not a teacher, but one of the school admins. I did a year at a small Christian college. One of the girls on campus witnessed her father's suicide. She had no idea what was happening. She just came home one day, and her dad was standing in the backyard with a gun to his head, and he said I love you, baby and shot himself. Needless to say, she was traumatized. So she went and talked to the campus counselor. She had fallen into a state of shock depression, and she was seeking help. The campus counselor broke patient doctor confidentiality, went to the dean of the campus and blabbed the whole thing to him. The dean then called her into his office and said this is a Christian school, and depression is a sin. You're expelled. So on top of losing her dad, she lost her housing, dorm room, all her friends on campus that were there to support her, and a good chunk of her progress on her degree. She was wrapping up her third year. Also, this is why Christians have such a bad name. Ro. Was I uni? Took a course on early childhood education. And it was the kind that was all emphasizing on how important it was to teach kids how to learn rather than what to learn alongside all those fluffy principles. The midterms happened. Had a question and answered it with a logically acceptable answer. The problem? It wasn't in the textbook. Had a talk with the lecturer. She said, I can't give you the marks if it isn't in the textbook. I asked back. So, if it's right but it isn't in the textbook, it's wrong? Lecturer couldn't say anything and just looked away. I look at her in disbelief. Didn't yell or anything but hugely disappointed that signed up for such a farce of a course. Lost all my respect for her that day. Such an utter hypocrite. Passed the course because I didn't want to fail it only to spend money to retaking it. Memorized enough of the textbook. Good luck teaching kindergarten kids how to learn instead of what to learn. I didn't quite lose my temper with the professor, but I'm sure he was embarrassed. It was a small writing class, about 20 students, and 4-5 or five of them always sat in the back and gossiped the whole time. One day I finally got mad enough to say something. So I raised my hand and said to our soft spoken and meek professor excuse me a moment turned around, and said sternly to those kids I don't know about you, but I'm paying to listen to him to talk, not to listen to you. You don't have to be here. Leave if you can't shut up. Turned back around. Apologized to my surprised and sheepish professor for interrupting him. And made a show of paying attention while ignoring the snide remarks behind me calling me a bee. Sorry, Professor Matthews. To be fair, you should have done that a month ago. It worked though. Okay, maybe not the worst teacher, but definitely the strangest. Mr. Pratt. He was a substitute teacher I had in high school in the 90s. In a city school, he was an older black dude with a loud mouth. There were a lot of butthole students though, who always mouthed back to every teacher which made learning difficult. Mr. Pratt had an odd choice when responding to these kids. Imagine a well-dressed, but definitely ghetto sounding substitute who when a student tried to act out, would pull a freaking puppet. 
Obviously custom made and looked just like him. Suit and all out of his desk. He would then start berating the student via the puppet. The puppet was called Pratt Daddy by the way. He would make the student talk to the puppet and apologize. Most didn't. They were laughing and tried to talk over Pratt Daddy. In which case Pratt Daddy, the puppet, would kick them out of the class and lock the door. Then the puppet went back into the desk drawer and Mr. Pratt continued. It was odd. That sounds hilarious Lomeo. To preface this, I'm a type 1 diabetic, have been since I was 3. This would have been 6th grade, we had a sub one day, right before lunch, and every day I go to the nurse to check my blood sugar. So I tell him and he tells me to sit down, okay I get it. But then he lets a kid who said he has asthma, he didn't have asthma, go and I stood up and started to spew all the legal bulls my brain could think of. Late to the party but I'll leave my comment anyways. So the story goes like this. We have a substitute teacher and we're doing group projects. I'm sitting beside other members of my group working on the project when the substitute teacher interrupts me several times to tell me to keep my eyes on my book and to stop talking to the people beside me and to focus on the group project I'm supposed to be working on. The first few times I thought maybe she just heard some comments out of context and thought maybe we weren't working on the project. But after the third time I finally snapped at her and told her to frick off and asked if she was retarded because I was doing the group project. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.